Mine in a piece to Papa, so till you near go. We could not have come at a more lovely time to return to Akros. Because when we finish, in a few moments, this assignment, the best fishing in the whole world is in these days. Changed a bit, just a little bit less around the mustache is all. Yeah. Listen, this is my uh, excuse me. This this is my friend uh, Alexander Scott. How's it going? I'm glad to see you. See there, they don't fool around around here. <laughs> oh, um. <clears throat> hey, Dimitris Anapolis Papas. Kelly Robinson. I have waited two years for you to come back. Well, I'm telling you, Jimmy, it hasn't been a single day go by that I haven't thought about this village. Good. And that is what I shall do to you. <laughs> Son of my daughter. Me? What did he say, please? Uh, he said I shall avenge. He's making a mistake. Why do you tell him that? Don't tell me. You're making a mistake. No! Stephanie! It is my honor. They disgust me. All night with Stephanie, and now she's unmanageable. Uh -huh. This car broke down, Jimmy, and it was raining, and fortunately there was this barn. Barn! Papa, no, shame on you! Yeah, tell her, tell her. Scott! Papa, I tell you, I was not dishonored. Overnight! He, he gave me English lesson. Uh, it was raining. Who said it wasn't raining? Demetrius, you should be ashamed of yourself to pick on a defenseless man. If you want to challenge him, why don't you wait till the wine festival is over? This is a time to spill wine, not blood. Papa, listen to him. You have waited for two years. Certainly you can wait for a few more hours. Like him more. Is this the true behavior of our mayor? Is it not our tradition to welcome all the people to Icaros for the wine festival? Huh? In my official capacity, on behalf of the village, I welcome you to Icaros. Well, thank you. We accept your welcome. After the festival is over, I shall kill you. Mm. Stephanie, tell them how it was, oh, honey. Listen. 
the, uh, the the red sash? Why does it make everything better when you change it from one side to the other? Oh, well, when the red sash is over the heart, yeah. it's, a, it's a sign of friendship. Oh. But when it is the other way, it is a challenge unto the death. Mm hmm. Believe me, my friend, he has been waiting for your return. He has even been praying for it. You are in big trouble. If I were you, I, I would leave. I would go now. Listen, you know, he might have a good idea there. Uh, for you. Uh, I never had anything to do with the rain. I didn't do anything, man. Mm -hmm. For once in my life, I'm as innocent as the driven. I know. And I'm, I'm, I feel driven right yes, now. Know. I know it's... Careful of the poles. How do you say watch the poles? Watch yourself. Watch yourself, sir, if you will. Oh, I'll, can I help you with these, sir? There we go. I'll just take those right out. <sighs> Double or nothing. Thank you, sir. Wonderful job that you did. What happened in the barn? Nothing happened. You get that smirk off your face, nothing happened in the barn. Boy, don't I always tell you everything? I have yeah. never, even when it's my fault and it all goes bad, I I always tell you everything. And if there's something that happened, I would have told you. But as a matter of fact, I was as, I told you, I was as pure as the driven snow. I've well, never been more innocent uh, in my proof, life. Uh, the old man has us under the gun now, and you have until tomorrow. You see. Then why don't you do something? Why do you sit there talking about what happened in the barn? Because yeah. I wasn't in the barn. That's right, you weren't in the barn. All right, now, here. Yugoslavia, Greece, and the border, and here we are. 12 kilometers south. The recon fixes the coordinates. Approximately this general area where our beam is intercepted. From here, all the contact is lost, and goodbye to the overnight planes. QED. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What was QED? Uh, QED is an old Latin abbreviation meaning uh, what it stands for, quid est de barn. Nothing happened in a barn, you. Okay. It also means we got overflights taken off from Turkey and that they're returning to Greece, but somebody's jamming our homing beams so that our planes fly into the Mediterranean in here someplace and sink. Around here is a complex, a castle, a silo, something large enough to house an operation of the magnitude of overflight interception. Mm. Q, sir, ED. And I thank you very much. Well, we got three days uh, case side, countryside. But since you had to give a little English lessons in the barn, why, of course, sports fans. Sally. Hi. You love me. Well, sure, honey, like a brother or a... Uh... A cousin, you know. <clears throat> Close door here. Not address. If you do not love me, why you come back to Icaros? Well, he likes to fish. <laughs> uh, this is my uh, friend, uh, Alexander Scott, uh, Stephanie Papas. Are you glad to see me? <clears throat> sure. Why? Well, because now you can explain to my friend in detail everything I taught uh, you that night in the barn. I remember everything. Hey, man, don't... Chicken Little was walking through the woods one day when an acorn fell on her head. Dear me, she said. The sky is falling. I better go and tell the king. So, she started off to tell the king. <laughs> We've been together a long, long time, man. Of course we have. Yes, and uh, chicken little and sir, uh, cocky poppy. Sir, uh, please. Now, how dare you, sir? I'm sorry. Of course, because you see, by repeating this simple little story again, and again and again, as was the case, she was able to learn syntax and 
Kelly. Yeah, honey. You could not know of the disgrace I experienced after that night, but... Yeah, well, honey, you know, I have the funny feeling that you make this stuff up as you go along about the honor of the thing, the places... The thing. How, you want to have a big family get-together and we'll sit down and talk it over heart to heart? Yes, yeah, good idea. Good idea, man. But Papa would not listen. Kelly, you must go away from here. You must leave. Well, yeah, but that would be sort of not honorable on my part. I mean, it's leaving you in the lurch, isn't it? With your dad and with uh, uh, Nikos and everybody. If you do not go, you will die. Or Papa will die, one of you. I do not want a life spent because of something they think I have done. Yes, that's, that's good thinking. Of course, you know, my, my friend here has been spending many sleepless nights worrying about your problem. And uh, if you give us some help, we kind of uh, pack our bags and sneak out of here and uh, there'll be uh, no more trouble than uh, we've already been in. Uh, what do you think of that? Oh, good. Good idea. Um, what help? Well, you know the country. I mean, uh, if, uh, have you seen anything around here different? Uh, anything out of the ordinary? Yes. Two weeks ago, Peter Mamuki's cow gave birth to two-headed calf. No, give her some help. Tell her. <laughs> no, honey, that's not what we're talking about. How about any kind of heavy equipment moving into one of the farms? Tractors? Nope. No tractors. Now, let's see. How about uh, strangers? Any strangers suddenly showing up in the area? Mm. Yes. Where? To the villa over the border near the lake. Kelly, I thought you came here to fish. Tell me about the villa. Nobody ever goes in or comes out, except Nikos. He delivers the laundry and food stuff twice a week. O only to the gate, never inside. Who owns it? Mr. Saronis. Oh, he is very rich. But I think he is ill, otherwise why would he stay alone? He has guards to keep people out. Oh, <coughs> Kelly Robinson, I did not come here to discuss Mr. Saroni's health. Yes, that's true. Please, you cannot stay here and, and you must not go there. Well, you don't give us too much choice, honey, but I'll tell you what. I promise we will try to be out of here by tomorrow night. I worry for you, Kelly. She's like that with all our English instructors. Now, the barn. What about the barn? What did you do? I, she told you everything. Yeah, well, didn't anybody she? can learn Chicken Little. Anybody. At any, you could give somebody Chicken Little in two seconds. Mm. No, man. No, nope, there's nothing suspicious from here. Give me. Well, <clears throat> maybe you have to move a little bit closer now. Huh? There you are. Here, here, here. What? By the gate. By the what? gate. By the gate. Here. Did you catch anything? Uh, no, and don't you catch anything, because they're not ready for you yet. You had it upside down. Yeah, that must be uh, Stephanie's boyfriend of Nichols. Hello there. Look at here. Huh? A dig on the, on the roof about three o'clock. Hmm. <laughs> Katori, yes, Dash. Well, certainly. What'd he say? I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? Well, I, I don't know the language here. Katori, Torovich. I don't know it's Serb or Croat or something. I never got around to learning it. Uh, sir, what are you doing, sir? Uh, I am uh, digging for worms, and I suggest you do the same thing, sir. Right, you are. <laughs> We're digging, you see. Worms to get yes. out in the ground. Yes, digging for, for, for worms, sir. You see, we, uh, heme, 
Uh, me, we, fish. 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 Fish, yes. fish over there, like that. Uh-huh. What is it? What is it? Wonderful eye you have there, sir. <laughs> How are we going to uh, mark that down on our expense account? They were shot down. I see. <laughs> More worms, more yes, worms. Yes, yes. Ah, don't you know any words in Serb or Croat? Uh, no, I do not. Sir. None at all. Like what? Like what? But how about like motel well, or sure, escape? Sure, sure. Ah, uh, motel? Motel. No, he doesn't. Well, yes. listen, I'm going to be the leader. Yes. Because it's time for the worms to work for us now at yes. this time. Only you because... Ready? Go ahead. No, motel? For second chin. Okay, now, just a minute now. Motel. Uh-huh. <laughs> Oh, uh, where were you when I was manning all those bastions? Holding the grass in case you lost the fight. Oh, good. I'm glad. Well, they know we're here. Certainly. So I'm afraid we've lost the cause here. We've just taken one giant step backwards. Well, then we must try harder. Yes. Well, we were fishing. Fishing? Now is not the time to go fishing. Now is the time to drink. And to thank the heavens for a vineyard. Still drink. Yes, yes well, now wait. First, I want to I wanna look at your sash. My sash. Oh. My sash. I wear it over my heart, yes? That's true. Now, does that mean, then, that there's no hard feelings between us? Absolutely never. Where do you get such a notion? In my heart of hearts, I know you are a gentleman. <laughs> Tell you, Robinson. <laughs> I love you. Thank you, son. <laughs> come, come, come. We must drink more. There is so much in the cinema for us to drink. <laughs> Young people, so beautiful. <laughs> we drink to that. Yeah, <clears throat> goat's milk on the rocks. Goat's milk. Yeah, on the rocks. Please. I stay, you make everything worse. No, it'll get better, dear. No, it will not. How could you not like this? This is from a prize goat. Yeah, well, she must have strayed into an onion patch. Well, that is possible, yes. <laughs> well, they make a lovely couple, no? No. What, no? No, no. Now, you take um, Nikos and the girl. That's a lovely couple. Nikos, he's a nice boy, but not yet is he a man. No. Let us dance. No, uh, well, I tell you, actually, when I dance, my feet never touch the ground. But I've been running around up in the hills, and my shoes are all loaded with muck and mire and everything. I think I better go up and wash up. Thanks a lot. For, I'll take a rain check.
have Dimitri Sonopoulos' We had visitors. Oh, Alexander! I was just telling Kelly anything he wants, he can have. You promise? I promise. Okay, let go. Let go. Let go. Oh, let go! Where did you dance? Let go! Let go! Let go! came in, awfully glad, and that you scared them off before they could get to this, but still at all, they do know we're here now, it uh, makes us be working on kind of a short fuse. The castle has to be hit. Yes, it does, yes, it does, but now that they know where we are and who we are, how do we hit it? We've got a soldier plan. Good, you got one? Looking for my toothbrush. Oh, you look for it with a gun in your hand, huh? Well, we're strangers in a strange land, uh, sweetheart. We uh, <clears throat> never know what's going to be coming through the door. Like your Wild West, huh? Mm -hmm. Stephanie, why did you come uh, through our door? I have changed my mind. I want to go away from Icaros with you. I, I want you to take me to Athens or Salonika or, or, or someplace. Well, honey, those are awfully big cities, you know. They got uh, <clears throat> sidewalks and everything. They're hard on your feet. Besides, your father would just come after you. Oh, yes, he would. But not Nikos. He will not fight for me because he will not go against my father's wishes. No, well, your father loves everybody. He wears a red sash on his heart. <laughs> yes. When he is drunk, when he is sober, he has murder in his heart. Look, sweetheart, let me take you on back to the party. Stephanie. No, don't want to. Uh, my two American friends. Well, oh, for heaven's sake. <laughs> oh, hey, Demi. How you doing? We were just, uh... Well, we were just talking about a lot of things. You, we were talking about you saying one to... Twice compromised. The sick, Vicky Thor! Oh, Papa, what have you done to him? Do anything, the wine did it. Get out of here. Hey, dude. It's my fault. Maybe we could just take him, you know, and just lower him right down into the party, and then he wouldn't know what happened. I got a plan. I got a plan. Now, you cannot drop him on his head. That's that one. Now, take, take a look out here. What do you see? I see a wine festival. And what? Mm -hmm. Give me uh, 12 o'clock. At 12 o'clock, I see... This is Nico's... Truck, I, I also have a plan. I hope so. Guess the wonderfulness of Nico's truck. Yes, You meet. <laughs> uh. I mean, you uh, certainly do cut a magnificent figure sitting there in the wonderfulness of your saber and uh, your red sash here which was uh, probably sewn by the uh, hand of a magnificent angry tailor. Don't touch! Okay, all right. Uh, but I must say now that this sash would cut a better figure to help the contour if it was up over your heart. Don't touch this sash! All right, okay, all right. 
You struck me. You're not my friend, you're my enemy. I never hit you. You, you. you passed out. I'm your friend. You struck me from behind. Would a friend do that? <laughs> now you have come here to apologize, to plead with me not to kill your friend, eh? <laughs> Came here to enjoy the festival. Well, you're wasting your time. I shall slice him into little pieces as soon as the wine festival is over. All right, drink to that. <laughs> now he remains in one piece. But as soon as the festival is over, he shall be kept at us. Kept at us, that's, uh, that's mincemeat. Yes. That is the wine of my country. Yes, sir. Yes, indeed. Well, it might be bad manners to refuse the wine of my country. Would be more or less, uh, I would say, high treason. Go ahead, have a sip. There's more in the kitchen. All right. I shall toast your friend, Kelly Robinson, who has dishonored my daughter. I drink to every little piece of him. And now, I shall toast to the blade of my saber. May it have the ice of an eagle. <laughs> and now, you make a toast, my enemy. Ah. <laughs> uh... Kef Tedes. You are truly my friend. Kef Tedes! Alexander, don't be selfish. Oh. <laughs> you are a good fellow, a good friend to me. Yeah, well, if I'm uh, such a good friend, then uh, I could probably tell you some truths about yourself, isn't it? Oh, truths. Hmm. Yes, yes, I know. My mustache is getting gray, true, true. No, no, no. Not your mustache. What could it be if not my mustache? In all other respects, I'm perfect, no? Except for your sash. My sash? Yes, the sash. Well, what, what is the matter with my sash? It's on the wrong side. What? Well, well, it, it does not look nice. No, no, it looks very ugly, very unbecoming. Fix it. Me? Fix it! <laughs> well, just a little while ago, you wouldn't even let me touch it. Who, who wouldn't let you, you touch it? Wouldn't I let me, no, you wouldn't oh. do nothing. You wouldn't let me touch it. Well. Here, so you're supposed to go over on this side. <laughs> now you're really be <laughs> cooking. You see. You're really go cooking. Really be cooking. Cooking yes. with gas. Cooking. Huh? Right, with gas. <laughs> uh -huh. Kelly, Kelly, oh, oh, Kelly Robinson, I command the fish of the sea to kneel at your feet. Yes, yes, <laughs> uh, and a few minutes ago, he was ready to make cafeteris out of you. What's that? <laughs> yes, uh, it's an appetizer, mincemeat. Uh, uh -huh. You do honor to my village. Uh, yes, I think now's the time. This is it, eh? Okay, yes. Demi, Demi, my, my good and true friend. Ah, uh, yes, yes, that is what I am. Yes. <laughs> Good and true friend to all mankind. Uh, we're with, of course, with one exception. Uh, what exceptions? No exceptions. I am friend to all men, a charming friend. Uh, well, what about, uh, what about that poor old gentleman who, who lives over there in, in, in the villa, the drafty old villa that, where he has uh, the shivers and the shakes and everything? You know, uh, uh, Mr. Soronis. Drafty villa, sick, lonely, Mr. Soronis. Yes, who buys the food from you. Yes, and for whom you do the laundry. And... Yes, I think of that the lonely, sick old man the, up there with just nothing but his clean shirt and hearing the echoes of our joy. Yes. Well, what can I do? He would not come to our festival. So we bring the festival to him, you see. We bring the festival and we pack everybody in Nico's truck. We take the celebration to the castle. I am charming. Yes, yes. I shall go now and Please. organize yes. the citizens. Keep your feet. All good. right. Uh, yes, mince meat, was it? Yes, indeedy. The sharpest kind wrapped up in grape leaves. And next time you pay for the wine because I spent all my per diem. <laughs> okay.
All right, listen, kids, uh, we're going back to Icarus uh, to get our stuff and everything. You want to come along with us? No. No? There is no life for me in Icarus. Because I am dishonored, Nikos cannot marry me, so I make a new life someplace. I go where you go. Hey, well, uh, Nikos, if you were up there snuggling with her, how come she wants to go uh, with Kelly? Perhaps Mr. Robinson snuggled better than Nikos. There wasn't any snuggling. She just was learning sentence construction. <laughs> yes, well, we're going to have to discuss this giggle here. Yes. And uh, as a matter of fact, we're going to have to discuss the smile. Uh, you're remembering uh, what you did in English class. It maybe had something to do with a little syntax. I'll tell you what just happened. I just this second got a plan. Yes. Bear with us now. Come on down out of there, both of you. Come on. What you are going to do with us? I'm gonna... I'm gonna have you happy. And I'm gonna have your village happy, and your father happy, and Scotty happy, too. Come on. Yes, wonderfulness of yourself. And me happy, too. Go on, inside here. <laughs> Ella. Ella. Induxy. Must 
be the classroom. Yes, it is. Now then, Papa says, gotta let Nikos marry the girl. Because the old rules say that the last in line to dishonor her is the first in line to marry the dishonoree. Dear, we got a date for the next festival. Stop that, or I blow your friend's brains out. Captain. Forgive the cliché. We are going for a ride. Please to drive carefully. Do something clever, and you will lose a friend. Out, 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 everybody out. It is now three o'clock. The festival is over. Ah, it's a, such a wonderful festival, so beautiful. I think we ought to start it all over again. And I think we should show Mr. Sonnenis here the brilliance. Uh, Demi, what are you doing with your sash? You think to escape? You cannot. I don't! <laughs> no, no, listen, Debbie, you can't be wrong, man. Uh, see, what we have to do, you don't understand, but what we've got to do is we, we have to start the whole festival over again because the very guest of honor, when we went out to his house, there was only so much, you know, we couldn't really give him the sweep and the panorama and all the grapes being mashed and everything. Presses are still here, everything is here, people are here, the musicians are here, so take your partners and join hands, and now we start to dance once more and the music goes one and a two and please that's it. now be you've got careful. to be careful of what sir you ow sir we are privileged to have you join us here for this act of honor the red sash by all means i uh, count on your victory aristo Uh, certainly. Uh, mincemeat, what'd he say? Demi, Demi, now come behave yourself. I'm like lightning, man. I'm warning you when I run away. Here, Jim, cut that out. You coward. You wouldn't stab a man in the back. Demi, I swear to you, it was only Chicken Little. Why do you wait? Kill me. Can't do it, Demi. 
You say me again. Even in defeat, you would deny me. No. I... I just want you to take a... a ride with me in a car. I want to show you something. After you've seen it, if you still want me to kill you, I will. We go. What has happened to my armor? Your honor is being taken care of at this moment by Stephanie and Nikos. Where are they? Please be careful. All of you, please be careful. That way lies marriage. If you can just keep him in the alfalfa until sundown, you got it made. Listen, sit down there. Sit down in the sun there and wait a few hours. You have yourself a son-in-law. Congratulations, sir. Congratulations, Dad. Son-in-law. 